this experiment is uh, what's the relationship? We've got a number of different containers here. I'm just making sure that you can see them large beaker, smaller beaker, and a measuring cylinder. You might be using more containers than this. And what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be pouring a certain volume of water into each container. It's 100 millilitres or 100 centimetres cubed. The water we've coloured today. There it is, 100 centimetres cubed of water. And before we do that, the relationship that we're looking at is the diameter of each beaker. So the distance from one side to the other, that's the diameter. Now to measure that you'd use a ruler. This larger beaker is uh, 10.0 centimetres. The smaller beaker 7.5 centimetres. The top of the measuring cylinder 3.1 centimetres large diameter moving down to small diameter. If we pour a fixed volume of water into each one we could measure the height of the water and you should see a very simple trend. The wider the diameter of the beaker, the smaller the height of the water within. So if we move on to the smaller beaker, smaller diameter, we should get a larger height of water. And if we move on to the measuring cylinder, the smallest diameter, but it should have the largest height of water within. Variables here, independent variable. The thing that we are changing is the diameter of the cylinder. The dependent variable, the thing that changes as a result, the height of the water. And control variables, we need to keep the volume of the water the same. The relationship that you should have found is as we decrease the diameter of the container, the height of the water in centimetres increases. There we are. Jonas! <laughs> it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Banana.